welcome to Your Brand Expert Tips. Have you ever wondered what it takes to create a really good strap line or tagline for your business? Well, today, that's exactly what I'm gonna cover. You see, Melanie Waldron has written in asking about how to create a really compelling strap line for her business that she can build her brand on. So Melanie, I hope that I can answer your questions today. And if indeed you're watching this video and you aren't Melanie, it will help you with your business too if you are also thinking about creating your strap line or tagline. So there are a number of things that you need to consider when you are creating the strap line for your business. And the first thing I really would advise is that you keep it really, really simple. You want to go for simplicity, something that is easy to trip off the tongue. And remember that other people are going to be building your business on your behalf as well through word of mouth and telling other people about what it is you do. And if you've got a compelling strap line and something that is really easy for people to remember, that kind of does what it says on the tin, other people will find it much easier to refer you. Now you'll have to forgive me because there are planes flying above my head today, so hopefully it won't interfere with the sound and the, the noise quality too much. I will try and speak as loud as I can over the top of them because some of them are bloody huge and they're going over and uh, creating a right old racket. You can probably hear it going over now. Oh, and I'll just let you know as well that because I'm down the park, I have Bonnie with me and we've been playing frisbee. So she's likely to be heavy breathing. If you can hear heavy breathing, it isn't me as much as I'm enjoying bringing this video to you. It's not me. It is my dog. So let's crack on. So Melanie, simplicity. Make sure that it's simple. It should be easy to pass on because... Remember that while you're out there either talking to other customers or delivering the business, you could have other people that are out there at networking events or even talking to somebody else, you know, in the family. They might be moving home, for example, or there might be somebody moving to the UK who is looking for um, a, a place of residence in London, as I believe that you're setting up a residential lettings company that helps people to find a, a place that they can feel safe in in London whether they're either moving to London moving within London or moving from abroad so it's really key that you step into your customers shoes and make sure that you are thinking about it from their point of view don't think about your strap line as something that sounds good that you think is great you've got to step into your customer shoes and make sure that it is something that really speaks to them and um, I think the other thing that you need to do is think about what is your mission and your reason why because if you know what your reason why is for creating the business and building the business and it's not most cases it's not that you're setting up a business just so that uh, you can make money I'm sure that you're doing it for other reasons that are much greater than that so what are your reasons for setting it up for your customers and think about what it is that you do that is important to your customers. And you wanna get something like that in your strap line because that will really get across the essence of what you're saying. So keep it simple, make sure it's clean so that you have a lot of clarity around your strap line and also make sure you get across the essence, the reason why you are doing what you do. Why should your customers care that you care? That's really important. So, you know, what, think about what it is that your customers value most about the services that you provide. Um, some people, they, they think that making promises in their strap line is uh, uh, the wrong thing to do. But it's not the wrong thing to do if you are going to deliver on your promises. So, for example, some strap lines, they'll say something along the lines of, you know, always deliver on time, good quality every time, you know. So... You know, you could make guarantees in your strap line and that will be compelling to the people who you are trying to sell to as a business and try to um, let with you and buy from you as somebody that they trust in your industry. So you could put something in there that's along the lines of a guarantee. That does work, but you must make sure that you follow through on your promises if you're going to build your brand on that. The other thing you can think about doing with your strap line is to use something that has your keywords in it so that you know that people, when they're passing it on, it could also be something that you have as your URL. 
Now, for example, a company that we did the branding for last year, they have a mortgage company, so they give really, really good, honest mortgage advice to businesses who are buying properties that they want to obviously get very tax efficient uh, mortgages to help them make sure that they're not spending too much money in their business and also to help people on a personal level to find their dream home and be able to buy it in a way that doesn't have them stressed and worrying about how they're going to pay their mortgage back. So Alison approached us a few years ago and we started working with her last year to really help her create the brand and the, the strap line and all the key messages around her business. Now mortgage advice and mortgages is a very, very competitive search term. So competing on Google wasn't something that Alison wanted to do but what we did want to do was get the essence of Alison's message across and one of the things that was really key to Alison was that she wanted to protect people that were living already in their dream home but because of the recession and because of inflation of interest rates and things people were having to sell their homes their family homes in some cases that they'd grown up in and have to move or downsize and she wanted to really help people with that to protect their property and to protect their security in their family home so that was one of the angles that we looked at for Alison's business when we came up with the four concepts for her strategy and it is actually the one that she went for here we go the heavy breathing you might hear that she's coming back with the frisbee come on then um so with Alison what we did we came up with the strap line and the concept of protect your nest because that's exactly what she was doing so the brand the logo everything was designed around protecting your home making you feel safe you know, if you've got a sea of mortgage advisors, and you, in most cases, people will see four or five mortgage advisors, and then they will, you know, they'd have to decide between those five people when there's not much differentiation between them if they're all, you know, providing the same service. So that really was Alison's key uh, differentiator was that she really is an honest mortgage advisor that could help you to protect your, your nest, protect your assets, and your family home. So her strap line is protect your nest and consequently her URL, her domain name is www.protectyournest. So you can incorporate your strap line into your URL and if you do that it's actually quite clever because that way you're getting a strap line that is catchy but it also they, if they remember it and you hope that they will they'll then type that in online and you're the first person that's going to come up because they it's sticky and they associate that to you come then and they associate it to you so that's also a really good thing to do is to look at creating a strap line that you could also have as a url if you are not competing on google now there's loads of ways you can drive traffic to your business you don't necessarily have to be coming up in the organic search rankings but can i hand um, but I would advise you do if you are going for something that you want to um, create that is really um, you know easy to find on Google. Always try and get your keywords in there. You know, with with hard work and and uh, and time and patience, you can absolutely get onto the first page of Google. And within the first three uh, search listings of Google. But it really depends on what you're wanting to do. If you're wanting to build your business on a word of mouth strategy and you're not expecting a lot of business to come through online marketing, then it's okay to create a strap line that doesn't have, that isn't, um, you know, keyword optimized. The other thing that you can do, come here then, the other thing you can do is to think about your strap line as you know, what, what are the feelings and emotions or the call to action that you want them to take once they've read it, once they've come into contact with your brand. So for example, if you think of, um, you know, Nike, just do it, or McDonald's, I'm loving it. If you think just do it is a very action driven word. It's a very action based company. They sell uh, products that help you to take action and become a competitive athlete. So, you know, just do it is a perfect term for them because it's a very motivated term. It suits their business incredibly well. When you've got, um, you know, uh, Pickfords, for example, they're a moving company. And, you know, what they wanted to do was create the essence of 
we look after your your property you know like we're not gonna just get hold of it and shake it about and break it and drop it we we really care about it so their strap line is the careful movers which I think is brilliant it's great because it's descriptive it tells you exactly what they do but it also gives you the emotion that they're going to look after your property so that's exactly the essence that they wanted to get across um, if you think of um, you know Toyota for example or Nokia, you know, Nokia is a great example, connecting people, because that's exactly what they do. So it does what it says on the tin. You know, you, whatever it is that you want to get across, you know, is it a feeling that you want them to have? Is it an action you want them to take? What is it that you want them to do? So you're better off when you're thinking of your strap line, start with the end in mind and really put yourself in the mind of your customer and think, what is it that I'd really want them to say to me that would make me feel safe putting my life or my business in their hands. Now Melanie, if you need any more help, I don't really have time to go into a great deal more today. Obviously we do this in a lot of depth when we're doing the branding for our clients, but what we have done is created a course which is perfect for small businesses just like you if you want to learn how to become the leader of your industry. So it's a three-day course and over that three days, we'll help you to understand and step your business into the future to create all the key messages you're going to need to create to use through social media, through, excuse me, you've got a <laughs> plane's about to go over, through social media, through the online marketing that you do for your website, whether it's videos that you're creating, whether you're writing blog articles or creating video logs. What we'll do is over that three day period is work with you to create all of those key messages to step into your client's shoes and really extract from you what are all the things that you do that you take for granted that you will probably completely forget when you're thinking about your, your online strategy and your brand and how when you're talking at a networking event and how you're, you know, when you're giving your elevator pitch for 60 seconds, what are the things that you really need to say about yourself? So we extract all of that and put that into a strategy that you can then take action and traction on so that when you go out after three days, you've learned how to become the leader of your industry, how to attract, engage and convert the clients that you want to work with and to also build yourself up as a key person of influence in your industry. So if that's something of interest to you, I'm gonna put a link below so that you can get more information about that course. And hopefully we'll look forward to seeing you there because it's a brilliant cost-effective way of helping you to really become the brand that you want to see in the world. So take care, have a brilliant day. I very much look forward to hearing how you got on with your progress and of course seeing your strap line in action. So take care. If you've got any other questions, please do pop them in the comments box below this video and I will do my very best to answer them in the next couple of weeks for you. So take care, have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.